And I do believe we're live, people. Or maybe not. <laughs> and I do believe we're live, people. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Are we out there? Are we on? Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> yeah we're long and we're live are we live are we actually live oh gracious what a morning it's funny how you can start your day all good and then right when you get ready to do something important so for everyone that can see and hear can everybody it well well let's see first if we can see ourselves let's check our monitors <laughs> Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Okay, wonderful, 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 wonderful. So let's 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 try to get some people. Let's see if we can share this out to some folks. Get some people to come on over. Come on over. The social media scene is in the building. I gotta stop saying that. That ages me, doesn't it? Um, a little perhaps. Bit. <laughs> it means I'm old enough. That's what it means. It means I'm old enough. That's what it means. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> are you laughing? Uh, hold on. Let's see. Oh, here we are. Okay, I can see us. We've got a delay, of course. Yeah. No, but it's it looks it looks good. You're blue screening it today. Indeed, I am blue screening it. This is behind the scenes. As behind the scenes can get people. I didn't even try to make it pretty. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a pretty blue. I, I believe that yes. it's a, a cerulean. <laughs> the term would be cerulean blue. I I just know it's blue. It, uh, it yeah, yeah. And, well, and I'm most, telling you, it's cerulean. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, and and the chroma key and the chroma key, it'll just say blue. You got blue or you got green. That's that's yeah, exactly. No fancy fillers there. No, and you I, actually you might have other ones now that I think about it. But for the most part, industry standard is either blue. Or green so for those of you who've never seen the weather done this is how they do the weather with the screen with the green screen they stand in front of the green screen and then they point at stuff but they're actually looking at a monitor to see which way they're pointing because otherwise it would get all confused well tell them exactly how it works tell them the, well, the technical aspect of it there it's kind of cool there is a technical aspect but before we even do that because we're rude we're sorry we're rude uh yes. good morning happy friday yay Welcome to another episode of The Social Media Scene. I am Alice Fuller, Principal Consultant at Sure Social, which is my social media marketing training and consulting business. And uh, go ahead and, and introduce yourself, my illustrious co-host, while I, while I click some more buttons. Please click on, my name is Chitachi Egbu. I am a media professor, I'm a filmmaker, a media maker. How about I just love all things media and one half of the social media scene. Thank you all for joining us today out there in Facebook Live land and every other land. <laughs> in, every, in every other land? <laughs> yes, in every other land. Well, here's the thing. We are today, well, every day, every Friday at noon, Okay. Admittedly, we are late today. We had some 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 technical I issues, and I don't really think it's our fault. I think it's the internet because lately we've been having a couple of issues, and we didn't have these mm -hmm. issues before. So it's like some gremlins have have crawled into our modems or our routers, and just creating havoc. When Why we, do you keep using this antiquated? You said you said gremlins routers and modem because I'm, I'm old school I'm i see old school because you know and the reality of it is a lot of my audience is old school too so i have to speak the language that they understand so okay yeah because otherwise because then you're going to let in a few minutes you're going to ask me to explain what's a bot so oh yeah see yeah. see 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 so nonetheless we aim every Friday and we're going to hit the goal. We're not just going to aim at it. Damn it. We're going to hit it. We are going to share what's popping on the social media scene, not just with social media, but we're also going to touch on film, a little bit of television, because technically where we're going right now, 
all media is converging into one place. And so we are where it's going to be at. Did I say that right? Because technically that's a prepositional. Something should be after at. We are basically. Oh. <laughs> hey, if I could just say hey to Donovan Johnson. Don John, thank you for joining hey, us Donovan. on the social media scene, 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 scene. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> if nothing else, oh. we got to get the title right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If nothing the hell else, can we say social media scene five times fast? Uh, no, but we can say it five times slow. So, hey, hey, Donovan, <laughs> how you doing? Okay. Zedra Keith Bembry is joining us too. Sorry, I just wanted to. Hey, uh, Zedric. He is, That's an interesting he, name. Uh, Zedric? Yes, Zedric. He, he's, he's, he's awesome. He is the... Um, the artistic director of Live in Color Dance Collective. They were on the first season of America's Best Dance Crew, and also they won the ABC Family Challenge. I can't remember what year it was, but they're pretty big on the scene, and they are Miami Hip Hop Urban Funk Dance Group. Oh, so they're dancers. Oh, yes, and can they dance? Man, I am Janet Jackson in my mind. Think I ain't, when I get on the dance floor, <laughs> I am, I am, ooh, what? In Go my, audition for Zed and see if you're still De Janet Jackson. No, I am I Janet Jackson, and when Dance Hall comes on, I think I'm Patrick. You can't tell me I'm not Patrick when Dance Hall comes on. Oh, not a romantic call. Let me uh, find out. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, I am. I really, really, in my mind, I am. But technically, you know, my my waist on my 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 waist really doesn't wind as as much as as Patrick does. But I, if ooh, if it did. Goodness, I'd be a dangerous individual on the dance floor. <laughs> Zedric, Zedric said, uh, LOL, Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. <laughs> and Zedric, uh, Donovan is saying that we look fabulous as usual. So thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to dive right now that we know that we're on and people can see us and hear us. So for those of you that are here, share this on your personal profiles, on your fan pages. Invite some friends because it ain't no fun unless your friends can have some. Oh, Jesus, really? I, mean, I don't even like that song. I really don't consider what it's really I talking about. I can't stand it. <laughs> yes, but let's, let's digress and move the hell on. Oh, oh you're in rare form today, Alice Fuller. I have Fuller. to be considering what we just went through to get this. To get I this. guess so. Okay, so first, we're going to start. We were going to start with Facebook, but we talk about Facebook all the damn time. So today, uh, we're going to start with LinkedIn, because I think this is kind of special with LinkedIn. Yes. LinkedIn, for, for, for those of you who know students and those of you who may be students. Now, I, I dare say on one end of things, this is maybe a way for LinkedIn to uh, engage millennials. But not every student is, you know, 20, 25 or, you know, millennial still stretches to what, early 30s? 30, 34, 35. Okay, 34, 35. Millennial. So nonetheless, LinkedIn has a program wherein it wants students. Now you do have to be a student, a real, you know, going to school, not just be on the yard. <laughs> <laughs> For not just be in the marching 100, but not you just live in the neighborhood. Yes. Fam, you. you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you need to be a real student <laughs> trying to get a degree, a real paper degree not a PhD in stepping, not a PhD in whatever it is, you know, people get PhDs in. You need to be a real <laughs> student. Now, real students move closer to the computer and turn up the sound. Because LinkedIn wants you to help it do a couple of things. One, create content VI, the publishing platform. And it wants you also, now I'm going to tell you, because if you're thinking, well, what do I get out of it? I'm going to get to that, but wait. It wants you to publish high quality content on LinkedIn, on LinkedIn, on your profile, which kind of benefits you right off the top. Okay. It also wants you to tell your friends. In other words, get other people like you on the, on the campus to also write and produce quality content for LinkedIn. Thirdly, for those students who might be a little fearful, a little shaky about, I don't know whether I want to put that out there like that. At the end of the day, 
LinkedIn is trying to help you as students build a stronger online presence for yourself. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> the program is uh, starting, There's you have to apply, let me put it that way. And they're taking applications right now. Now, hold on if, if I can tell you uh, where to go to apply. Can you now, also tell them what kind of content is that video? Is that right? What kind of content? Well, for the most part in your LinkedIn publisher, you can use mostly text. Most people will use text images as well as video. But at the end of the day, it still has to be within LinkedIn publishing. Now, mm. if they like it, they will put your articles into LinkedIn posts for everybody and their mama and cousin to see, which basically will still help you as an individual, especially for an individual looking for work or looking for uh, well, juniors and seniors, what looking for work and internships. Okay. Okay. And then what you get out of it is you get access to what the most of us don't get access to. When you get into this program, you get access to the premium account. What? Oh, wait a minute. So when you apply and you get accepted to the program, you have premium account access. Yes. Oh, that now that's kind of cool. You know, I was like, ho oh, hum up until you said that. Exactly. That is when really I, when I was really reading cool. it, I had the same kind of I'm like, so so you basically want to pimp the students to create more content, which is indexable by Google. So that basically helps you out. But then as I was reading further down the page and I saw, oh, what did the students get out of it? A premium account? What? That's a big deal. That's so a big deal. You should definitely apply. So definitely now, apply. not only can you uh, create content for your profile, basically help build up an online presence for yourself, because you're going to need that in 2016, right off the bat. But you mm -hmm. can also network better, send in mails to people, because, you know, technically, when you're on the free platform, there's only not that you're you're really, really restricted to what you can do, but they have kind of cut back on how many in mails and, you know, you can send to people, especially those people that you are not first connections to or mm -hmm. trying to become a first connection of. So that in and of itself makes it worthy of the um, of the effort. And what I will do is just for sake of time, once this uh, broadcast is over, I will put the link. Uh, and a comment in the post below or I'll either put it in the description or I will put it in the comments below so that y'all can go and click on it and find out more about the program yourself. They started the program actually last year and they had about 23 okay. students and they're looking for students. You will become like the LinkedIn go to on the campus. So they're looking for individuals across the country to be that person on individual campuses. So if, if you're one of those people who see yourselves as a student leader or you're the individual you think uh, well you have some influence on campus or you want to build more influence on campus just to mm -hmm. build up you know your your volunteerism you and everything else that seekers and recruiters are looking for this might be a good program for you so I'm gonna put all the information that you need to know in uh, the in the uh, in the comment or either in the description of this video so once we click goodbye, Fantastic. you'll have the info. Cause I think, I think that is a wonderful, wonderful idea. Yes. LinkedIn is going to get content out of it, but I think if you're, if you're smart as a student, you can take that and run with it. You can really. Absolutely. I mean, all of these platforms, as you're talking about, are really, really looking to connect with millennials because you are the millennials talking to you now, you are the largest generation. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of companies are trying to do things to appeal to you. So let them appeal to you. If there's right. something that you could get out of it, don't, you know, apply. Definitely. Definitely. It's called, a stu they call it student publishing. And there's a whole site, student that, publishing. Uh -huh, student publishing. It's called become a campus editor is what they're calling you. If you should happen to oh, apply. Oh, that's interesting. A campus, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. And they already did their, their first set of people. That was 23 students across the country. And so now they're taking applications uh, again. Just started. So they just oh, fantastic. Mm-hmm. So yes, if I were a student, I would be on that like white on rice. Fantastic. Cool beans. So what else? What else is uh, popping off? 
Now, also, for those of you, since we're on Facebook, we got to give, we got to talk about Facebook. Now, this is something I stumbled upon. Now, some of you may know this, and if you know, just be quiet. Let me have my shine. <laughs> <laughs> Sat down. Sat down somewhere. <laughs> just be quiet somewhere. So, for those of you that actively use Facebook Messenger, now here's the thing. When I use Facebook Messenger, I use Facebook Messenger for what? To send messages. <laughs> That's why it's called Messenger. Uh, okay. However, now you know Facebook can't just can't just do messaging. They got to do it big. Now, for those of you who have discovered that you can do more with Facebook Messenger than simply send messages. Okay. So uh, what I'm talking about. If you're not hip to what a bot is, anybody know what a bot? It's not a new dance craze. I, I trust trust me on that. It is not a new dance. A bot. Craze. A bot, and it's not it's not short for the robot either. Not not at all. Well, do 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 explain. Okay, so for those of you who are kind of a little techie, but maybe not, you know, a little bit. I'm gonna try to explain this in what we call layman's terms. Facebook has created a little extra little technology that will allow companies, brands, and whatever to create an application within, within the Facebook Messenger where you can send them messages about some of everything and you will get almost like an automatic response. So it's not okay. just you sending information, but prime example, Say you're on a website and you know how when uh, you, you, there's a little tab that pops up and says, hey, do you want to chat? Do you have a question? Can we help you? That's basically what these bots kind of are. So when you're using Facebook Messenger and these companies have created this, this type of bot, you can send a message and you, you get an automatic response. But it's not just about talking. They're providing all kinds of services. I'm talking real services that you can use. You can reserve hotels. You can get your plane information. You can donate to charity. You can send money to friends. Now, uh, uh, now for some of you, that might be a little extra. That indeed is true. But you can also... Yes, me. You're not getting any uh, cent from me through <laughs> Well, you know, what if somebody really needed your help? And it's just like, look, uh, Tachi, could you just, could you just shoot me about $20 via? <laughs> Whatever the dilemma or debacle you've gotten yourself into is where you shall stay. If you're depending on me. <laughs> oh, okay. So basically what you're trying to say is you're not, you're not down for it. Look, no, no, well, and not, I don't know if I'm down through it through that method. I don't know. Okay, so it basically it's called bots for messenger, bots for messenger. So businesses can basically become a little bit more interactive. And this is a real time with customers or potential customers. So here are some of the brands and companies that have created these bots. Well, this weekend, the Video Music Awards will be on and popping and probably trending on Twitter for, I don't even know who's performing. I've worked that show a couple of times and I'm so over it now. It's not even funny. <laughs> I, well, you're not to be, not to interrupt, but you're not, you're over it, but a lot of people aren't because that is the most tweeted about event usually every year, the VMAs. And so as such, it makes sense that there's a bot for it because every company is trying to jump on social in terms of linking it to the VMAs. So yes. they're right on the money with that. Okay, so for the Video Music Awards happening this weekend, you can vote for the best new artist with the MTV Bot for Messenger. That's kind of hot, a little bit. Now, <clears throat> for for everything that I'm about to list, all these uh, some of these uh, companies and brands that are using the Messenger bot, to access it, all you need to do is go to m. dot. m e. forward slash. m t v in this case. So everything will be m. dot m e. forward slash. 
and then whatever the company name is. So that's that's okay. that's one you can start using probably. Uh, I don't even is the show Sunday or when is this? Oh, I know it's it's probably Sunday or Saturday. They don't do it usually VMAs comes Sunday. on on a Saturday, right? Or is it a Sunday? Probably a Sunday. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So at any rate, you can use that starting uh, probably today, tomorrow, whenever. All right. So you want to send a message to the White House. Tell Obama how much you go missing, hopefully, or maybe not, depending on what, <laughs> depending on what you, you know, how you rolling. You can use the White House Messenger bot. Once again, m.me forward slash White House. I would really like to, because um, I would not be, I would not be sending nothing to the White House, because I think as soon as you send something, you're going on a list. <laughs> so... <laughs> Okay, so here's one you might be interested in. Okay, is it Trulia? Trulia or Trulia? Trulia. Trulia. I think it's Trulia. Okay, so the Trulia bot for Messenger. Searching for a new, a new place to live, rental properties, any location. You can get daily updates on rental listings that meet your criteria right through the Facebook Messenger bot. Okay, that you, is, that don't that doesn't move you either, huh? No. Well, okay, I, I shall not be moved, as the song says, because I want to know what is the difference between me setting up alerts on these various websites or what? Okay, granted, uh, I'm not going to be able to the, the bot that will help me purchase things. That's one thing, but like the alerts, what's the difference between me doing that myself via the website and this bot? Uh, probably uh, none where that's concerned, <clears throat> but we also know too people have a tendency to be creatures of habit, and I suspect where Facebook is concerned, because realize, even though these are useful, Facebook wants you to stay on Facebook. So that's you, what it's about. Well, at the end of the day, it, yeah, that's so, what it's about. That's what. But at the end of the day, I, you know, let's can I? Okay, let me just keep it a hundred with you. Go ahead. Go ahead. At the end of the day, these services, though useful, you have to understand that when you are engaging with these companies, and especially VI, something Facebook has already created, don't think for one second that data that you are providing is not going into Facebook's database so that they can further create a profile of you as an individual and thus provide that information to marketers that's at the end of the day yes it it, mm -hmm. it's, it can be quite useful if you want to get uh, say example here's one from Sephora for those of you who like lipstick and cosmetics and yeah that's not necessarily my, not me it's just is yeah especially not today but Sephora has a virtual artist bot you see a pretty lipstick color and you think, ooh, I wonder what that would look like on me. And so Sephora has provided this bot where you can see the, you can literally see on your face what it's gonna look like, what the lipstick shade is gonna look like. So is this something that will work through um, the Facebook Live app as well? Sorry, not live, but the Facebook app and I'm saying because there are, there are some companies who have this already through their website, but I'm guessing that the appeal is that it would work with the app, the Facebook app. Is that it? Well, seeing as how Messenger is a separate app, you know, it's just you got Facebook, which explains, that's true. It is a separate app, which in explains itself. Right. probably why Facebook pushed us to having the Facebook Messenger app and shut down the Messenger on the platform itself. So that we can have bots that we don't want to use. <laughs> well, somebody Thank will you. somebody yes. will be using these bots. Now it may not be you nor I. How soever, how soever, I guarantee you there is a, a young woman right now, probably sitting in front of her webcam or on her mo on her mobile phone. You know, trying on a lipstick color via this Sephora virtual app. How soever, you're right. <laughs> And for those of oh. you who, and for those of you who like to travel. Now here's the thing. 
Kayak, Uber, Lyft, Expedia. All of these companies are create or have created bots via the Facebook Messenger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. still not you still not impressed, huh? Okay. No, right. it's not that I'm not impressed. I think it's really cool. I just want to see what what more it does for me for me than what I would already do on my own. See, I'm not the type of person that's lazy about this stuff. I do what I need to do and I don't need it to be the easiest way. Uh So I want to know, is there something different that this bot offers me than what I would normally do on my own? Well, that's all outside of some semblance of customer service. Because now you now you're going back and forth between this brand because you send you send a message to them they reply, and you have that convert that that kind of back and forth with this quote unquote bot. Now for some people they may be thinking so we're being replaced by a bot now. Hmm. Well, I think that's a lot of the argument too mm-hmm. that uh, people are thinking that this is going to replace jobs and replace people. So that's a real concern for some. Yeah, yeah, for some, for some. And even... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, for those of you... Okay, well, one last thing. For those of you who like to cook, you can get recipes from Whole Foods Market. And for okay. Those, okay, and for those of you who um, who watch the today, is it the today Show on NBC... The Today Show on NBC, uh huh. Okay, so they do a, a cooking segment or a food segment. So if there's, they have a bot called Today Food. Today Food, where you can uh, get okay. recipes and you can search for recipes and food related videos and articles and whatnot. Oh, okay. Well, that that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm just picturing this bot, though, saying, Hello, Alice. Uber does not go to your neighborhood. <laughs> 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 Please move to a safer location and Uber you will come to you. stupid. Zetri said that I like the recipes. Now I have my attention. It does. I like food, Zed. You know this. <laughs> well, for those of you who live in better neighborhoods, <laughs> take advantage. Because you can imagine that. What, what I'm surprised to see that, well, you know what? Maybe not, because what this brings to mind is I'm like, well, I got a whole list of all these services and all these companies that are using the messenger bot and I don't see one pizza company. Oh, I don't see not Nary, Neil, Zip, Zada, Zada is not a word, uh, Zip, <laughs> pizza companies, not a Papa John's, not a Domino's, not a pizza. I'm a little surprised at that. But maybe not because they understand using the bot might put whatever they've already got on their own website that allows you to do mobile uh, ordering. That's direct competition. It is. It is. That's what it is. Although, although there, I think it's Domino's that allows you to order pizza using an emoji. Yeah, I've heard of that. So. Yeah. So, I mean, I can't see, maybe they could work something out because they are missing delivery. That's, that's key. You're right. Yeah, because a, a bot ain't, is not going to deliver your pizza to, and especially if you live in a neighborhood where you can walk down to a corner store, uh, and, mm-hmm. get, a, and get a fifth of anything, uh, liquor or in three, three blocks oh. down the street, there might be a Martin Luther King Boulevard. Oh, you put it out there plainly, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> now, if you have to think about oh. that, <laughs> I'm just, I'm not, we call, have to I'm not, to I'm not calling out any neighborhoods. I'm just saying, if your neighborhood happens to fit that description, if it has a Malcolm X, a Phyllis Wheatley, a, and a Barack Obama Boulevard or Martin Luther King, Perhaps this bot will not be for you. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> oh goodness! But you know I'm telling the truth. Yeah. Uh, you gonna have to get in your car, bro. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. I'm sorry. We're we're getting off on a tangent here, as we often so, do. Uh, as we often do, and that's cool. Ta- I love tangents. I love tangents. Uh, so. 
so there's a whole bunch of bots, but there's a couple of other things going on with Facebook, right? Uh -huh. In terms of, you were talking about broadcasters and their reluctance. Yeah, not everybody is drinking the Facebook Live Kool-Aid as a broadcaster. And you can kind of understand why. Because think about it once again. Facebook wants us to be on Facebook all day, every day. Now, if you are a traditional media outlet, you got to think about this thing for a second. Now, wait a minute. Now, I've spent lots of money and energy creating a space mm -hmm. for viewers to come to my, and it basically has my domain name on it. <laughs> my, so it's my website. Mm -hmm. I've got mm -hmm. videos on my website. And not only that, when you click on one video, I suggest other videos for you to watch on right. my website. So one reason some companies especially like the nfl and some other ones uh that are broadcasting uh, traditional tv shows and videos and things mm -hmm. of that nature they're they're not necessarily jumping on to the facebook live wagon because facebook is is promoting to them to get suggested suggested videos or related videos you know sometimes mm -hmm. when you're watching a video on youtube and you see underneath oh suggested video you know, they stole that from, you know, who <coughs> YouTube. So in many instances, companies can pay Bless for you. Yeah, thank you. So in many instances, companies will pay to have that suggested or related video underneath another video. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. if you're watching it there on Facebook, guess where you're not watching it <laughs> on their website. Correct. Correct. Which, which Correct. is where their advertising is they you know companies are paying big money to have advertising space before a video after a video and during a video so if they were to start putting all of their content and whatnot on facebook they're not gonna at this point we don't know if this will change in the future but it probably will in some in some aspects if they will be able to monetize it facebook will be able to monetize it quite simply right because <laughs> Facebook I dare say this Facebook is going in the way of we provide the content and at this point with people creating different shows and at different times and things of that nature Facebook will mm -hmm. start to mirror traditional TV and then they'll start absolutely with everybody doing Facebook live videos they will figure out a way to put an ad now I don't know if they'll put an ad smack dab in the middle of a live stream but what they may do is put the ad in the replay. So there was talk about this, mm -hmm. uh, about having uh, ads, experimenting with ads in Facebook Live uh, about five seconds into the stream mm -hmm. or so, or five, sorry, five minutes into the stream, and the ads could last as long as 15 seconds. So that would not make a lot of streamers happy, especially if you have a guest on, I don't like, if you're going to do an ad, I kind of like the way Snapchat does it, where they have in between stories, you've got your ad. That's fine. And you can breeze past that ad, but don't interrupt what I'm doing to put the ad there. Granted, you know, I always say, guess what? We don't pay for any of this bloody uh, technology. So you can really <laughs> do what you want, but I'm asking you to do so in a responsible way because guess what? We're also providing free bloody content for you and you're not paying for it. So if that's the way you're gonna do it, do it responsibly. Do it before or after a stream. In fact, if Facebook Live had a green room option, while you were getting ready, they could play ads all they like while you're in the green room. And then when you're live, you're live. There Leave me alone. There, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Although we don't want to give them ideas. Because if you see that idea pop up in a minute, you're going to be mad as a mug. <laughs> I really won't because what money am I going to make off of it? <laughs> it was your idea. That's fine. They can have that. Look, Zuckerberg, you can have that one free gratis all day long because it's just going to make my life easier. That's fine. But you think I'm going to tell them other ideas? Not so much. But this one, go ahead. Have at it. <laughs> and she said it with a smile, too. She was <laughs> she's serious about that thing. I did. I, I'm really serious. <laughs> okay. So for those of you who watch comedies, this is something I, I discovered this morning. So this was not in our pre-production meeting, uh, but I think I know what you're going to say. Comedy Central, 
Comedy Central. Now, usually, we for the last couple of weeks, we've been saying how companies are, or well, brands, traditional television and whatnot, generally will create something, repurpose it for social media. Snapchat, YouTube, whatever, right? Facebook Live, high up. In this particular instance, this is probably one of the one of the more interesting uh, aspects of a show that was originally or content that was originally on Snapchat now being aired mm-hmm. on television. Mm-hmm. And let me see, let me get my notes because I don't want to, I do not want to say the show's name wrong. I saw this, I saw this this morning too, so I know exactly. Swagasaurus, yep. Swagasaurus. And no, to my knowledge, there are no dinosaurs present anywhere in that. The show is basically a comedy uh, with some some young man by the name of uh, James Davis. Mm-hmm. And he basically breaks down uh, urban slang, and we know what we mean by urban. <laughs> we don't have to say it. We don't have to say it. You're looking at it, so we don't have to say it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, base, that basically, he breaks down urban slang and tries to explain it in a, you know, in a comical way. Which is kind and of... And it's supposed to... Go ahead. Which is kind of interesting, because, once again, I've never seen this on Snapchat, but... They debuted this show last September on Snapchat, mind you. And what I don't under what I'm trying to figure out is how they're going to take those very very short pieces because you know you can't be on Snapchat for thirty minutes. Technically, I don't think you can keep a millennial or whoever may be on Snapchat. I don't think you can keep their their interest that long on Snapchat. So I'm I'm curious to see how they're going to repurpose that into what a 30 minute i don't even know how long the show is going to be the heaven said yeah i guess it's going to be half an hour i think i think and it's supposed to premiere in january mm-hmm. um i i think that well they've been able to do this before so not necessarily with um not with um uh snapchat but with youtube and you know i'm i'm trying to remember the uh her name not chelsea handler but uh I can't remember her name, but it was, she was a YouTube star, and they actually took her and made uh, gave her a Comedy Central show. So for all intents and purposes, YouTube uh, has been a lot of short content, too, and that's what she was doing. Mm-hmm. So I think it's doable. I think it's doable. Well, here's what's interesting, though. Now, we're, we keep talking every week about how brands and companies, TV2, everybody's chasing the millennial, right? Mm-hmm. Here's what's interesting. Now, we know Larry, Mil- Larry Wilmore's show was canceled right on comedy central last week La- yep. last week okay uh we also know uh the what the colbert report colbert report mm-hmm. that's another older dude <laughs> now now mind you i did not say old i merely said older so don't don't older don't don't start emailing me about you know <laughs> calling people old. It just a- <laughs> <laughs> but look what's happening two older hosted <laughs> shows are now or oh, even amy uh what's her name um amy schumer a- amy schumer uh-huh she gone too she's she doesn't fit no i don't think she fits into the millennial uh demographic either age-wise no. okay so I think she's gen X. okay so that's three individuals who who are now gone but look who's coming in <laughs> A younger, uh, 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 young black male who's going to basically share his knowledge of uh, the uh, the urban lexicon <laughs> and, and make it mainstream. I'm like, isn't it already yeah. mainstream? But whatever. I no, mean, well, after a while it becomes mainstream and then we move on to the next piece of uh, language. But did it you, is what it is. Did you just make up a word? Slanguage, yes. Okay. All right. Slang. <laughs> can't, can't you define what slanguage is? Slanguage. 
Slang language would be words, phrases, sentences that utilize casual, colloquial language, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Colloquial language. Uh, yeah, so slang language. Instead of saying slang, it's slang language. Language. You heard it here first on the social media <laughs> scene. Okay. Slang language. Okay, so if you hear that used by somebody else, tell them to recognize who exactly. said it first. Slang language. Slang language. <laughs> slang language. Okay. So I'm kind of interested to see it. Just just a little, just to, but I probably will forget because I barely turn on the TV half days. Uh, but I, for the shows that I do watch, I might I might turn to this and, and see what this is about. I'm I'm a little curious as to how they're going to, and I'm here's the other thing that I'm curious about too, since it's coming from Snapchat to television, how will they integrate? Will they continue to integrate some element of Snapchat in it, and how? That's a really good question. That's a really really good question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am. So looking at that, and we were talking about this in terms of integration, I think I'd like to introduce the other thing I wanted to talk about in okay. terms of Snapchat. Uh, in terms of, we, we talked about this last week, that NBC Universal has a multi-year deal with Snapchat mm -hmm. to produce content for them. And so Snapchat is also looking for Hollywood type content. So they've already started. If you've looked at Snapchat lately, you're going to notice that in the Discover section, there is the voice. So if you click on it, you're not just going to see repurposed content and, and, and things from the show, the voice, the competition is happening now. They have actually launched a several separate competition via Snapchat. There were about 40,000 people who submitted themselves singing songs. And what they do is when you click on that, you will, you, it's uh, all four judges and they talk for a little bit. There's a lot of split screen stuff that goes on. And then what they do is they introduce the, uh, that contestant for that week that they've chosen and they play the video. So at the end, I think it's five episodes or so that are going to play. And at the end of all of this, they will, they will crown a king or queen. They will crown a winner of the Snapchat competition. So this is interesting. While you've got the linear television competition going on, on um, NBC, you've also got the Snapchat competition going on. So it, it's interesting. And we were talking yesterday about how are they going to bridge that? Are they going to mention the Snapchat competition? Now, I haven't watched The Voice to know whether or not they've been mentioning it. I would think they probably would, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, so it will be interesting to see when I do look at it whether or not they've made mention to Snapchat. Hmm. This is interesting, especially as we quickly approach the fall season to see what these uh, studios and production companies are going to do to integrate social media into their programming or vice or, or, or programming into social media, vice versa. It's a good, absolutely it's a good time to be alive. It's a good time. It's a fantastic time to be alive. Yeah, absolutely. Any absolutely. time is a good time to be alive. You know? <laughs> 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 Absolutely. Yeah. So that is uh, something interesting to, it will be interesting to see. Also, mm -hmm. um, what was the, the other thing that I wanted to, oh, well, this is not really Snapchat. It's Snapchat like, so <laughs> Snapchat -esque. <laughs> Snapchat esque. Yes. I think they're calling it snow chapel. <laughs> because Isn't there a drink um, called that already? Probably. <laughs> Who knows? I forgot what they're calling it. But uh, we all know that everybody copycats everybody in this industry. Mm -hmm. And now it's Apple's turn. So they are developing a video sharing and editing app. Okay. And according to Bloomberg, they're going to allow, it's going to allow users to record video, apply filters and drawings to the media kind of like Snapchat does already. And you can send it to contacts via existing social networks, such as Twitter, okay? Um, according to all the people that are talking about the development, still in development now. So the interesting thing is that they're also doing a throwback to Instagram, where just like the early days of Instagram, 
all the video was going to be in perfect squares. Okay. That's Instagram throwback. Okay. And it's supposed to be a standalone app. Okay. Not anything connected to anything else. It's a standalone app and supposed to come out next year in 2017. So they've scrapped standalone apps before Apple has, and they've chosen to repackage them along with existing products. So it's going to see, uh, it will be interesting to see whether or not they somehow package that together with um, messages or uh, FaceTime or something else. So we shall see. Hmm. A new video hmm. messaging app. Yes. And editing. You can also edit your video in that as well. Hmm. That's quite interesting. Now we just had, what was it? Uh, Google do uh, introduce duo, which I still have. I still uh -huh. got to download that. So get me too. So Google has duo which they just launched, what, last week, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And so now Apple has jumped in the game, right? Yep. And now we've got, uh, we've, always, we've often had Facebook Messenger. So that, I mean, we've had that for a little while, so that's nothing new. So, uh, right. yeah, uh, choose this day which, <laughs> which Messenger app you will use. <laughs> Which bloody app at all you will use because there's such a replication of everything. Yeah, yeah. Which which brings to mind too has um has WhatsApp. I mean uh have, have, that's that was it still is probably the most one of the most popular messaging apps. Correct, right? It is. It is. It is uh, one of the most popular messaging apps. It's, it was purchased three years ago by Facebook, and it's hugely popular, especially when you talk about uh, internationally. That's, for example, how I keep in touch with a lot of my family in Nigeria. Well, you know, they had this uh, thing that they weren't going to change uh, privacy. Not quite, because they announced a change to their terms of service, and now it's going to allow WhatsApp to share your data with Facebook is parent company. Okay. So they're emphasizing though, that all the message content yourself will stay encrypted and unreadable by anyone, but the unused, but the user theoretically, I never go for that. Cause anybody can be, you know, I don't say that, but theoretically everything is still, all the messages are still supposed to be encrypted. But what this is going to allow is for advertisers to contact you, to target ads towards you and to contact you by sharing that company, uh, sorry, sharing that information with Facebook. As usual. Everything, As bloody usual. Everything comes back to Facebook. Don't it's like all roads lead, no matter how you try to detour, you know, go around the corner, all roads lead to Facebook. Goodness. And it's all, Absolutely. it's all about, forget, forget it being about all about that bounce. It's about, all, it's, it's, it's about all about that data at this point. Exactly. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Well, well, it is what it is, people. It is what it is. And this, this is, the, this is the state of things. This is where we are with big this data. And no matter how beautiful it, it appears on the surface of things and how useful it is. The reality of it is somewhere in there, they're still taking information from you, creating a profile of you, creating a persona of you so they can basically sell it to somebody else. Or even if they don't mm -hmm. sell it to somebody else, in many instances, it does make the user experience better. So it's not all negative. It's not all negative. So I'm not hating. So for those of you, why is she always trying to know? There is some 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 great uses out of having that data, uh, specifically when it comes to customer service, specifically when it comes to creating an overall better user experience. Yes, yes. So don't. I agree. I so, agree. So don't, don't. So don't email me. Okay. <laughs> that that's what the bottom line is. Don't contact. Me. <laughs> don't don't tweet me about how negative you keep talking. No. Mm -mm. Not today. Fantastic. So there's a couple of other things. Um, number one, in terms of uh, Twitter, and you were talking about the new, the change to Twitter. Mm-hmm. We got we got black Twitter. Now we got dark Twitter. Just playing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now you have really black Twitter. <laughs> So for those of you 
who were like me, who happened to, you know, in the middle of the night when you just happened to wake up and got nothing else to do and you check your Twitter feed and that blinding white light <laughs> keeps you from enjoying the experience like you should. There is a thing now called dark mode. You can put mm -hmm. Twitter in dark mode. Dark mode. And what dark mode really means is, typically speaking, now uh, I'm, I'm assuming everybody uh, is looking at a white interface with, with black lettering. Although you mm -hmm. can change that with one app I used to use back in the day called, was it Uber Tweet? Uber, Uber something? And you could, you could okay. go it. I, that was one of my favorite Twitter apps, but I don't think it's in, in, in existence anymore. But you could basically change the color of your, okay. your, your whole Twitter thing. So basically, for those of us who are using the Twitter, uh, the native Twitter app, you know, it's white with black lettering. So now when you go uh, onto the app and you hit that gear, hit the gear right up there by your name, you will have the opportunity to hit dark mode. And when you hit dark mode, the interface now becomes uh, like a dark gray-ish kind of color. Okay. Grayish kind of color with, uh, I think is it like a light blue? Light blue lettering. Blue lettering. And I mm -hmm. found it to be quite pleasant. Matter of fact, I liked it so much, I didn't come out of dark mode. I just stayed dark. Well, cool. I have not played with dark mode yet, namely because uh, I'm not using my phone in bed, so I don't need it to, Ooh, to, to be dark took, mode. You almost anything. took me down a road I wasn't trying to go. But uh... <laughs> no. let's not go down that slippery slope. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, your, your, your phone is by the bed, you know, or... Uh... Yeah, no, I don't take it in my bedroom. You don't take the... Never mind. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. um... Or I try not to anyway. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting my, my natural self here to, to keep it G-rated. Okay. So, uh, here we go. You don't ever take the phone into the bedroom. I mean, just, no, I mean, I don't want to say never, but most of the time, no, because you know, those types of things supposedly disrupt your sleep patterns. So I just don't take the phone into the room. So, so when you hear your cell phone ring, shit happen. Bye. Good night. If, if, if I'm already in bed, I'm not going to pick it up. Do you have a landline? Not that we need to know your business, but I'm just curious. I do. So, I do have a landline, but I don't pick that up either. <laughs> so uh, don't call Tachi after uh, whatever her sleep time, because you ain't going to reach her. Not, it's really not by no, no Twitter. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. well, the thing is, I go to bed late anyway. You know, I might go to bed at 1 a.m. So what need would you have to call me at 1 a.m.? You know what I'm saying? After that, so if you haven't reached me before then, then hell, you just have to wait till the, the morning. Okay. <laughs> just saying. So I guess you never just get, saying. I never get you, you never get that text message. Are you still up? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I answer it uh, the next morning at like seven. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I was oh, asleep. Missed here's the thing. Once I lay down, I'm out. So missed opportunity, bro. You better make that call at 10. <laughs> exactly. So here's the thing. If you need to reach me, it better be, be between, you know, before 1230 a.m. Because 1 a.m. I'm probably out. Well, 1230 a.m. winding down. still a good time. You know, I mean, yeah, I mean, for casual conversation now. Yeah. OK, so. Yeah, no. I mean, it, so it's the thing. If you have not talked to me by that time, so sometimes the conversations may go past 1 a.m. if I'm like on the phone and it's just a good conversation, but don't try and call me at 1 a.m. new and fresh because that means I'm probably laying down. Okay, so uh, Twitter dark mode, there you have it. Yes, that's it. Twitter Save dark mode. Save your eyes because if you've got older eyes and you're wearing glasses and such, like you uh, yeah you don't you don't want to lessen your vision by you know by blaring white light trying to read tweets <laughs> does that well let me ask does that help you since you are a glasses wearer 
spectacles wear, does that help you? Does what the dark mode? The dark. Yeah. Yes, it does because it's it's, it's less it's less strain on the eyes. Okay, okay. Because otherwise, you, you know, you'd have to get up and turn on a lamp. You know, like in the movie Malcolm X, when Malcolm was trying to read the book. Yes. It's, yes. And thus, he began to wear. So it's the, same, it's the same thing. It's it's too much of a strain on your eyes when you're looking, when you're trying to read or anything, a cell phone, your ebook, your Kindle, whatever it is. You've got this mm-hmm. this bright white light sitting right under your eyes and everything else is dark. Mm-mm. You don't want to do that. At least if Fantastic. you have to do it, try to try to make it a short time span. Okay. There's something we forgot to talk about with uh, Facebook in terms of the, there's been a lot of, Twitter, 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 that's not the right word, but you know, a lot of uh, talk about the dual platform or the split screen or the two seats, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Um, It's not for you yet. So don't start getting happy and start planning talk shows because number (laughs) one, it's not for you yet. It's only verified accounts right now at this point. But number two, the way it looks is more like the old fashioned 90s picture in a picture Mm -hmm. as opposed to the side-by-side split screen, which is more optimal for doing interviews. Yeah, I was, I was, I was disappointed. I was really, well, I figured that was what it was going to do, but I was, I was trying to keep hope alive that it would be, you know, a side-by-side screen, the kind of thing we got popping. But what if, if it, if it came down to it and it's just something you gotta have, like for those of you that are starting fresh with Facebook live and you want to start an interview show or you want to bring somebody in for a hot second to get, you know, to share a comment or an expertise or something. Okay, that it might work for something, but long term, it, it doesn't move me. It's something that I would want to use as of as of yet until they figure out how to get, you know, the side by side. Well, this is the thing. I think that is going to come because I think people will not like that format and will say something to Facebook. And I think that's something they're probably working on now. If you think about it, when Blab, rest in peace, first premiered, their uh, format was very different. Everything, all four were side by side. And then they went to that window pane format. the window pane look mm-hmm. afterwards. Yeah. But the very first blab was all side by side. So I think that platforms can grow and evolve and probably what we see now will not be what we get in terms of split screen or multiple uh, voices on one platform. It's kind of interesting too, because even the newer plat- newer live streaming platforms have mm-hmm. have out of the gate been side by side for those that are that are allowing you know multiple people to chat so for facebook to come with the kind of picture in picture i'm like really that's the best y'all could do however though i give them this and, and not that facebook needs any extra props but no if periscope is not careful periscope uh come closer to the computer screen <laughs> get your beep together okay because by now you've been around much longer than facebook live mm-hmm. has been around mm-hmm. figure it out come on because if you're not careful i'm trying to tell you people will leave periscope to come, they're doing it now people will it's begin, already happening yes, people are already leaving periscope to come to facebook live and we're just not talking about you know just regular people just joe blow and jane whoever we're talking about a lot of your marketers a lot of your celebrities and everything else you know well mm-hmm. let me let me preface that by saying yes facebook is paying some celebrities and some other people but to use it right to, to use it but still periscope twitter figure this thing out if if you can i dare say if periscope can figure out how to do the side by side and get to that gate before uh, Facebook does, you'll be good to go. I mean, do what old girl did. Just dive across the, uh, when you, when you see the <laughs> finish line. Well, but the thing is, this is the The thought process has been there. Remember way back last year, they did some tests with some quote oh, yes, unquote right. influencers yeah. of the dual, uh, dual screen. Yeah. They did that. Uh, granted it was one on top of the other, but it's not that much coding wise to probably figure out the side by side, but this was last year. I don't know what Periscope is doing since, and they haven't, uh, it never released, 
But I mean, I think had they released that, that would have been a whole different part of the game, mm -hmm. a whole different part of the game. But I don't know why they didn't. Well, not only that, remember even Meerkat, because you know Meerkat was the hotness for all of a couple of months until Twitter just snatched all all their little shine to do Periscope. But even right. Meerkat would allow you to uh, pop somebody into your stream for like a minute and then right. pop the out. cameo feature. The cameo feature, uh huh. Right. <sighs> Periscope. I'm trying to tell you. I I can't look. You can't help people who don't want to be helped. So Periscope, <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to waste my time helping people who don't want help. So Periscope will figure it out. Um, they they need they know they know very well, and Twitter knows this really well as as well that they need to do something to keep people engaged. Because if you look, and I'm not to go off on a tangent, but that's what we do, right? Indeed. When you look at the the content, there's some great content on Periscope, people that have really good shows. and But then there's also a lot of come talk to me, I'm bored. So you mm. really, to draw people in and keep people there, you have to have something fantastic and spectacular. And not only that, there are also a lot of trolls. Now, again, okay, I'm on Periscope every week. I can deal with the trolls because I got something for them, but not everybody is 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 like that. Okay. So th there's that too. Okay, that's why she is she is not the one trolls. I'm trying to tell you, get your feelings hurt. They really they leave with their tail between their legs, or I block that, and I'm like, don't let me find you on Twitter. <laughs> you mean? Yeah, I had to do that one time when I was on Blab, and this guy came in. And I, you know what? The sadder part is, it's my, it was kind of my own fault. But he seemed like a nice guy. He presented himself as a nice guy. And I let him into the chat. Boy, did I regret that decision. But I found him on Twitter, though. Yeah. Wow. Well, <laughs> yeah, that, I, that, you yeah. said you found him. <laughs> I, I thought, that I, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I, is I, interesting in terms of regretting leave, letting somebody into the chat because talk about smile time oh smile time talk about li yeah. li once again live streaming now there's okay so we've been saying for a minute this whole live streaming thing is the the competition is really getting steep now admittedly facebook is doing doing a good job you know um, i hate to, you know well, you know i ain't trying to get facebook any more shine but nonetheless you got to give props for props are really do smile time now here's a whole new app live streaming app now before you say another one well i got one and uh chitachi has has another one <laughs> to 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 introduce to you so with this one i can't say off the bat there's anything uniquely special about it outside of the fact that one the founder of hulu not the founder but a guy who used to work at hulu basically helped create this app okay so that's one then the other element of that is generally when you have the comments on a live stream it's just it is it's just there you can't vote it up per se like that kind of like that reddit that's what they do on Reddit, whether, you know, you have a piece of content yeah. and they vote it up, up, up until yeah. if it gets enough votes, it ends up on the homepage. Mm -hmm. Well, in this particular case, you get to vote up certain comments and you do that in an effort to get the attention of the broadcaster. And then the broadcaster or the streamer in this particular sense can take that comment and show it. That's, that's kind of nice. I mean, that's okay. a, that's a little different than the, you know, than just streaming and commenting and um, having your typical kind of one person talking to a mobile phone and you've got people talking back and forth to you. At this point, it's just one more uh, dog in the show to me, maybe. Um, I can't say you can drag and drop images into your stream, then that might be a plus for this mm -hmm. that no one else has done thus far because um, but you can have up to four people. Did you mention that? No, I didn't mention that. Mm -mm, no. Okay. So that might, that might make it something worth checking out. But as of right now, it's called Smile Time. And at this point, I'm not overly like, ooh, this is something I really must download. No, I'm not at that point yet. Okay. 
Okay. Mm-mm. Okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna check it out. I didn't have a chance to check it out yesterday. I definitely do want to see what it's about because you know everybody's looking for that blab alternative. Blab, regardless of how uh, stupidly they behaved at the end <laughs> and burning of bridges, they behaved at the because they burned some. But they basically were like, "F you all." To me, the way yeah, they you try to go, you try to go to blab. I am now, and it's just like we gone. F you exactly <laughs> it says F y'all. <laughs> B-I-T-C-H's. That's basically what it was like. And that's how they kind of signed off, which I really didn't like and a lot of people didn't like as well. But the, what people did like is that it was a wonderful platform when it was working well. It yeah. was fantastic. So I think that a lot of people are looking for a Blab alternative. A lot of people are on Fire Talk. A lot of people are using Huzzah. Uh, some people are using Zoom and then using like a third party broadcaster to put it, uh, push it out to different places. Mm-hmm. So people are looking for that experience of being able to talk to multiple people at once on camera. Yeah. And so and, we'll and, see. And, and, and broadcast at other places to YouTube, to even Facebook Live. Because I, I dare right. say now the way things are going, if if I'm just stuck broadcasting on one platform, I mean, it doesn't go farther than right here. Uh, no. I dare right. say at this point, if you're developing these new live streaming apps, you're going to want to be able to figure out a way to to at least share a link on Twitter or on Facebook if you can't get the whole video uh, experience, but at least, right. you know, put a link different places so they can bring other audiences from other platforms over to what they're doing. Exactly, exactly. Uh, before I talk about mine, I just want to say hi to Dottie DePaul. She's watching. Thank you, Dottie, hi, for Dottie. being here. I haven't seen you in a while. We have to make a time to go have lunch. Love you, Dottie. Uh, so there's another. I'm sorry. Did you finish with Smile Time? Well, yeah, but it, it related to Hulu because I was going to tie Smile Time into Hulu because uh, for those of you who uh, it's not live stream related per se, but because Hulu, the guy who was at Hulu founded Smile Time, Hulu, for those of you who are not trying to pay <laughs> to watch your favorite shows on Hulu anymore, you do have an alternative. So I was going to share that, but you go ahead. Oh, no, my final thing is the, uh, the new, there's a new app. Uh, yes, another one. This is actually... A, When you talk about new apps, these people generally just don't come out of the ethers. They have often worked with another entity. So just like with Smile Time, it's a former Hulu employee. This person is the former product manager of Facebook Live, Vadim Lavrusik, who co-founded Alively. And it went live on Tuesday in the App Store. Mm -hmm. And really what it is, it's an app that's meant for broadcasting from one to a few people instead of one to many. So like... Periscope and this Facebook Live has the capacity to reach all, you know, if you make Facebook Live public, it can reach everybody. Mm -hmm. If you just make it your friends, it reaches all of your friends. But you can even make it narrower. So this is really narrow casting. So you would be broadcasting or sharing live video with just a handful of people uh, instead of your entire, uh, you know, regalion of friends on that platform. Mm -hmm. So there are dozens of companies that are really trying to crack this seed of live video and video in in general, but especially Mm -hmm. live streaming. So this really, the two other co-founders are Ray Lee and Vincent Toscano, and they really all think that the uh, social media users don't want to share their videos with whole huge groups of people, or at least not all of them do. And mm-hmm. I can see applications for this in business, not just personally in terms of, all right, you have some millennials who really want to share their live moments, but don't want to deal with trolling and don't want to share it with everybody, but just a few. So I can see use in that end, mm-hmm. but also think about, um, doing a webinar, well, a live streaminar, right? Uh, a business entity that, that wants like to share some information. Is that like the third word you have made up today? This is the third word, <laughs> live streaminar. I have, I have, you're right. This is the third word I made up today. Ah, live streaminar, yes. Wow, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, so I see, uh, I see applications for that type of thing, definitely. Well, here's something else, from a, from, even from a business standpoint, say you do a contest 
and um, the winners you only get but how many people can you talk to privately on 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 on, on a lively four it does not say it, it, I did I do not know yet I okay. need to look at it and see how many people okay. but I think it's one it's just one person to many in a, in a sense or one to a few okay so you get a, f a few maybe maybe 10 if that you know winners of a contest and you provide that True. you can provide that exclusive content to just those 10 that that works oh, yeah that it, works. I, I can i can definitely see this working not that facebook live does not have this capacity for example you can do a live broadcast inside mm -hmm. a group mm -hmm. like a secret or a private group or inside an event. So if you limit who's watching that, you also, you kind of have that same type of thing. True. So it, yeah, I don't know how they're justifying this, but again, one of the founders is from Facebook Live. So, hmm. you know, you're gonna probably see similar functions, functionality. And I just wanna say hello to, I think your name is Seben or Seben Griffin. Thank you for watching. Good to Hi, see you. Hi, Seben, Seben. We're gonna, I'm yes, sorry. CBN. I hope I'm not saying it wrong. You know, blame the what? Uh, blame the uh, blame the mind, not the heart. I think that's what I. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. We make up words. So, yeah. so if we make, I up, make words, up words, you know we'll get exactly. names wrong. <laughs> exactly. Live streaming are. Write it down. <laughs> ah, wow. Okay. So, going back to Hulu. Now, this is, this is somewhat social media related, but for those of you who have decided I am not paying Hulu, not one red cent to pay to watch TV shows. That's me. That's me. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> and you need and or desire an alternative. And this alternative is actually provided by surprise. Guess who? Yahoo. Yahoo and Hulu. Yahoo and Hulu. It sounds like a like a like a cop show, but a comedy. And I'm about to make up another word. Yahoo. <laughs> you like that one, don't you? Or not? Yeah. Okay. So, uh <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo. Okay, that sounds like that sounds like a, a, a an insult. You damn your Hulu. Or, okay. You know what? <laughs> no. So oh. Yahoo. Oh, excuse me. Yahoo View. For those of you who just will not pay for Hulu, Yahoo View. That's what it's called, and uh, it's already launched. So you can you can go to Yahoo View or Google it right now. Well, not right now. Wait, wait until the show's over. <laughs> and what it's going to do? It's going to feature content from Hulu for free free mm. free 99 so you can watch uh, TV shows you can watch anime you can watch movies all that great content mm -hmm. uh, that Hulu was providing uh, well n this is not now don't think this is all of Hulu's uh, library it's not this is just certain content <laughs> Mike Hines, hello, is watching. He said, Shaka Hulu. <laughs> Shaka Hulu. <laughs> oh, Mike, I can't. <laughs> Y'all got jokes. They got jokes. I love it when the audience has jokes. Audience has jokes. Shaka Hulu. What did he say? Shaka Hulu? Shaka Hulu. <laughs> Shaka Hulu. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We got jokes coming oh, from, from the peanut gallery. Oh. We got jokes. Now, Yahoo View. Now here's what you can see. You can watch oh. the uh, the latest five episodes, the latest five episodes from your favorite shows from ABC, NBC, and Fox mm. eight days after their original broadcast. So let me repeat that. Again, Yahoo View will have for you the latest five episodes from your favorite shows from ABC, NBC, Fox, and I suspect there'll be some others joining, but right now these are the ones that are, that are, that are using it. 
eight days. That's basically a week. If you can wait a week, a week after eight days, pretty much, after their original broadcast, see it free 99 on Yahoo View. So thank Why you. Why not CBS yet? I'm sorry. You know what? I don't know. Because, you know, mm. a lot of it comes down to whatever whatever money's on the table. Right. Right. You're right. Wow. That's all I can think of. Wow. Good. This is this. Now, here's here's the social media element to it. If you know or recall, Yahoo bought Tumblr earlier mm-hmm. this year. So Tumblr has become, even the last couple of years, hum, uh, Tumblr has become the place where a lot of TV shows really build up their fandom. Mm-hmm. You know, people mm-hmm. who create content, people who do the little videos, they do the GIF, GIF, whatever you call uh, <laughs> the images, the, and they post them there on Tumblr to create this whole community around a certain show. And you really don't, in many instances, you don't see that kind of community effort on um on Facebook, many instances, because everybody's, you know, commenting on their own personal profiles. You you can you kinda have it, maybe a little bit of it on Twitter, but what joins us on Twitter is the sharing of the hashtag and talking back and forth to each other kind of thing. So but with mm-hmm. Tumblr, these TV shows have really created a site where everyone can contribute various types of content. So they're they're wow. thinking maybe now that Yahoo is providing free access to these these shows on hulu so now they'll have a direct tie to creating you get them off of hulu and then bring them over to tumblr where they where the fans can continue to create content about about these shows interesting so um and i still don't want seven or seven I, he says that he can't wait that long the week after because showbox is showing them the next day well, excuse me. <laughs> you knew she was going to say that. So she, you know, she's like, good for you. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, but I mean, I, I guess that's the thing. If you can't wait a week until now, here's, a week here's, after. Then... Here's my question. Is okay. show Now, is Showbox a website that has a licensing agreement with a network or, now I don't want to put you on Front Street, dude, but you brought it up. <laughs> you brought it up. So you, it's too late. It's you too brought late. it up. Or is we're Showbox, putting you out there. Or is Showbox <laughs> one of those websites that you can go to and watch shows for free 99 because somebody has posted it on a third party website and you can, you can stream it and or download it. So almost like a BitTorrent. Well, somewhat, but uh, it's posted or hosted probably in some server somewhere in Russia or somewhere else, somewhere else in, the, in the world. Oh, not and you, Russia. And, and, okay. you can, and you can stream it. And in some instances, you can download it. Because technically, um, I'm not to put this nicely. Um, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of somewhat illegal, kind of, sort of. <laughs> Yeah, you, you you know the 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 whole thing lies with the licensing of it, mm-hmm. and if it's a solid licensing agreement, they are probably going to make them wait a period of time before showing it. Because here's the thing: usually, what these people do is they will uh, not so much with networks, but uh, there's a replay. They'll do a replay, also, you know, often, mm-hmm. often. So they're going to wait till they've got out there one more, and then you could go ahead and do it. So yeah, let's see. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Seven said it's an app using torrents. So that's why I said like uh, bit torrents. Uh, uh, yeah. se- seven, so, seven, seven. Now that you put your, now that you put your business on front street and his first and last name, I'm going to need you to change your name <laughs> and your picture <laughs> and go into witness protection and go into witness protection before the TV popo, uh, chases your IP address. I'm just saying, well, it says that he said the crazy part is that Walmart and Target are running ads in the app. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm afraid to check it out, Mm-mm. but not the kid. <laughs> I'm afraid to check it not out. Not the kid. You so, but enjoy, enjoy your torrent based uh, 
television viewer. That just sounds like a, 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 a some handcuffs waiting. To be waiting to <laughs> let's see. Uh, show. Oh, let's see. And uh, my kind says that Showbox supports BlackBerry. Whoa. And I will you mean say the this. Fruit or the old phone nobody's talking about anymore. The old phone. <laughs> the old phone. The old phone. It's and I will put out a, a disclaimer here that the views expressed by the viewers of uh, the social media scene are not necessarily the views expressed by, by the two hosts. <laughs> that BitTorrent is not us. Mm. That's not us. <laughs> we do not condone <laughs> nor promote. <laughs> so Seven so ben said he'll be watching us from lockup. <laughs> oh, no, well, they're cracked down now. That one person that snuck in the phone and uh, streamed on Facebook Live, so they're really looking hard. Yeah, and my I, I don't laughing. know if you get access to how much uh, to, to Facebook. Really? Yep. Got it again. I don't know wow. if you get access to. Is that seven uh, calling you? Dude, you can call me. You well, you, well, you if you're not careful, you can try to call me collect, and I will not. <laughs> <From yourself. laughs> and I will not be answering. Oh, the cell line <laughs> Sorry, dog. Oh. I tried to tell you, leave them torrents alone. <laughs> yes. That's why, as soon as he said that, I'm like, the next, I said, that mm -hmm. sounds like some torrent. It, it sounds like you one step away from having a, a new friend uh, in a cell somewhere. Uh oh. Just saying, dude, just be careful. Just be Crazy careful. Crazy eyes. Just yeah. be, well, you, well, you would just hope he's going to a men's prison. He ain't going to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy eyes the man. Oh, crazy. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking the oh. crazy eyes male counterpart. Oh, okay, that's what that's oh, what I said. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. So, uh, dude, you know, just you were warned. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> he said he'll use magic jack to call. I can't with you all. I can't with you all today. You, you oh! use what you want. I'm just telling you, dude. Be careful. <laughs> be careful. Studios yeah, now are not playing. They are not. It's not a game. It is not a game. And especially when traditional TV is already in competition with what's going right. on online, which is why Correct. they want you, even if you got the app, you have to, once you get the app, then you got to tell them what service provider you, what cable service provider you have. So they're trying to keep it on lock. And dude, I'm just trying to tell you, just, just be careful. <laughs> Just be careful. Wow. Just well, on that note, I think we kind of ex, ex uh, yeah, we're, ex, yeah, we, yeah, it, it's expired. It's a, it's a wrap. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's a, <laughs> yeah. And see. And, and, and see. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. yes. So we thank y'all. Fantastic. We thank uh -huh. y'all. We thank y'all for, for sticking with us and for sharing the stream and, um, and commenting because we love the, we love having comments and back and forth. I mean, yeah, obviously we like to talk. I mean, that's a given, but we also like to talk with, not just at. So thank you. Thank you. And we will, we will be back again, hopefully next week, same time, same place and same uh, fan page. Yes. Any yes. Any, thank you all. Any parting words, uh, illustrious host? Well, I just want to thank, this is now show. I don't even know the count. Is this show seven that we I do think, on the sheer social I think eight. network? I think it's eight. Show Okay, eight. So on the Share Social Network, and mm -hmm. so it's every week, and we appreciated your support. It's so much fun to do. Who doesn't like social media? We all use it. You're on Facebook, so you're using social media. So I just want to say thank you for being here and following along and giving us laughs. You all were too funny today. Yeah, hilarious. Yes, and please uh, share it out with some people so we can we can get some more people. And not only that, but. Uh, tell us what you want us to talk. If you hear about something before we do, because well, yeah. we're only two people now, you know, we're, we're quite knowledgeable of stuff, but we're still only two people. And this is not what we do all day, every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Social media. We, yes, we do. Social media almost all day, every day. But if you find out about something or you want us to talk about something or want our perspective, just leave me a comment or leave a comment on the sheer social page so we can add it to the show. Absolutely. And they can also tweet at us oh, if yeah. you're on Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, you're at Sheer Social, correct? I'm at Sheer, Sheer Social. Indeed, I am. S-H-E-E-R-S-O-C-I-A-L. And I'm at Tachiata, T-A-C-H-I-A-D-A. -A -A. That's me on all platforms except for Facebook. Mm -hmm. And when we get a budget, we'll add more graphics. 
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. We, we have one. That, that's good. Oh, also, uh, one last thing that uh, Mike Hines is uh, giving a suggestion to check out an app called Rabbit. I hadn't heard of that, Rabbit. so I definitely will check it How out. How do you spell yeah. it? Like Rabbit. R-A-B-B-I-T. And it's an app? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, because I was thinking. And let him know what you think. Yeah, absolutely. I'll check it out, Mike. Definitely. I'm writing it down now. Rabbit. We're going to check out Rabbit. We sure will. We got a lot to check out. So. Oh, oh, and before we go, before, before we go, okay. for those of you who do like President Obama, <laughs> We uh, and because we are still both oh, social yeah. media advocates and we are both filmmakers and we do work in you know, we do work in entertainment and media. Uh, support uh, South Side with you this weekend. Now, yes. admittedly, it is a limited theatrical release, so that means for some of you, as <laughs> you may have to get out of your neighborhood and go to you know, another neighborhood or a neighboring city to see it. But please support good quality filmmaking because I, I dare mm -hmm. say if this if this does well opening weekend at the limited theatrical releases, they probably will open it up to even more theaters. But this weekend would be the litmus test. So get Absolutely. a girl, get a girl, get a boy, I make it a date. Mm -hmm. Night. I'm going to see it today by myself. Well, yeah, I I, I thought about that too. Uh, so I, I just might do that because you know trying to coordinate with your girls, girl. I gotta get a, you know, I gotta get this. I gotta get a babysitter. I gotta call my boyfriend. Time. It's just like really. By the time you I'll do, I'll, I'll see you after the movie. I'll tell you how it was. You can have the rest of my popcorn. <laughs> seven, seven says he'll catch it on Showbox. You know why I can't with you. <laughs> oh. Not the face. Can you fix your face? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, dude. I, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. They can trace oh. IP addresses, dude. It's a torrent. Come on now. No, he's going to catch it on show. Look, what did I say earlier? You cannot help people who don't want to be helped. Let him watch show. <laughs> All right. Well, go ahead. Do, do you. Uh, can't say do, you, boo -boo. do you. Do you. And do you again. Because if you. You go to jail. Oh. Don't call my name. <laughs> oh, don't call. Oh, this is. Don't call uh, Chitachi's name either, because oh. she nor I. <laughs> yeah, because I told you I don't pick up the phone after a certain time, so mm -mm. you might be out. No, and I don't. Oh, do, wow. and I don't take collect calls. So no. <laughs> this was fun. This was awesome, guys. Thank you so much, Seven, Mike, Zed. Uh, Dottie, uh, all of you that were here today. Oh, Hilda, Oe. Yeah. She's Oe is a soror. Oe is a soror. So. Hey. <laughs> so. Yes. So, and even for those of you on the replay, if you stayed in it this long, thank you. And again, mm -hmm. share, 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 share it everywhere, even with your frenemies. All right. Have a good weekend, everybody. And we're going to call it and end. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.